So hopefully you can stick around for another 100 videos because I'm having a lot of fun making them. Thanks very much, guys. We'll see you on Tuesday. Appreciate you tuning into this one. Welcome to the Tuesday vlog, guys. Hope you're doing well. This is a massive one. I know it's a Sunday afternoon. I've just finished up a video, but I really wanted to dive straight into the next one because I've just secured a ridiculous Facebook Marketplace pickup. Now, I've got to go grab it now. Rule number one, the minute you secure it, you've got to go grab it before somebody else does. I won't tell you exactly what it is just yet, but this is going to be a huge profit, and I'm going to step you through the process into how I go on to resell it. So it's going to be a fun video. Let's get into it. I've got to go grab it now. Come on, let's go. Okay, so let me break it down. On a Sunday, I tend to like to just sift through Facebook Marketplace listings just to see if there's any really great deals. I tend to find that a Sunday afternoon you get a lot more listings on Marketplace. So I did that today and I was shocked to see this one pop up. So I'm gonna go and get it now. And like I said, I don't wanna tell you what it is, but I do wanna give you some really quick tips before we pick it up, just around sourcing on Facebook Marketplace and how to better do it. And a couple of tips that I've got for you is the first one would absolutely be to go straight away. I touched on it at the start of this video, but I, I seriously mean it. You've gotta go straight away the minute you secure it. There's so many people out there looking for bargains on Facebook Marketplace. The minute you secure it, the minute your seller says to you, you can have it, you've just gotta go and grab it. So that's what we're doing right now. The next step would be buying bulk is actually an advantage. So don't feel like you need to nitpick and grab what you want out of an order or out of a bulk purchase. Just literally take it all because the seller wants you to do that. They want to sell everything and you're also gonna get it at a slightly less of a cost because you're buying the whole lot. It's almost like a wholesale agreement. You're buying as much as you possibly can. And then the last thing would be, sometimes you don't need to negotiate. Sometimes you literally just have to see it for what it is, know that it's a good deal and just go and strike. Just go grab it. Don't stuff around with any of the conversation topics that could put off your seller. Just say, look, I know I can make a lot of money on that. I'm happy to pay the full price. Let's just go and get it. So I did all those three things today. I took the entire lot. I've paid the full price and I've obviously gone ahead and grabbed it straight away. So let's go grab it. We're only around the corner. That's the other good thing. It's literally only two seconds away. Um, I'm going to show you what it is in a second. There's a lot of money to be made in this one. Can you guess what it is yet? Alright guys, this is just a massive get. PlayStation 2 bundle pack. I'm talking about 50 games, all of the controllers, about 5 controllers. I've got the Guitar Hero guitar. Now these things go for about 75 bucks on eBay, so I've already been able to score myself that. Now I paid $120 guys, just so you know, 120 bucks, and I've been able to get all of this stuff. Now, it was their entire PlayStation 2 bundle. This was the listing. There was over 50 games. These are all PlayStation 2 games, if you can see there. So I've got to sift through every single one of these, but there's about 50 of them all stacked up there. So we've got a heap of games to sift through. We're gonna have a look at how much each game is individually worth. I think there could be about 500 bucks worth of games just there. And then I've also got this as well, which is all the sort of the controllers. I've got two consoles. Um, I've got a stack of these sort of controllers as well for like the quiz games. Uh, there's microphones for SingStar in here. Um, I've got an adapter cable. There is just so much stuff in here. What I need to do is probably get home first and actually just lay it all out and then go and look through everything. I really just want to comp everything out and just see how much everything is individually worth and then how I can best go about maximizing my sale because it's a great way to bundle these individually, but I've got to work out exactly how to bundle it all out to get the most money. So I'm going to take you through that as well. So let's get back home and we'll start splitting it all out and working out just exactly how much we've just been able to pick up. All right, guys, so here's the stack. Have a look at it. Look at all those games first and foremost. They are, <laughs> there's 50 games there, all different types. And obviously the Guitar Hero guitar. There's some memory cards in here as well. So I think I've got about six, eight uh, megabyte memory cards for the Playstations. Um, so they're all there. I've got six controllers as well. Um, I've got four SingStar connector cables. I've got an adapter. Uh, a Joytech adapter. I've got the four controllers for the Buzz game, which is in here somewhere. Um, six uh, microphones for SingStar. I've got two iToy uh, cameras. I've got the, that's a PlayStation 2 to HDMI cable uh, that I've got as well. Console, the slim console, and the cables 
for each console. So it's pretty much a complete set. There's nothing missing. It's all in like new condition and there's a whole lot more value there than $120, that's for sure. So I think the first thing that I'm gonna do is tackle these games. I wanna work out what games are worth how much on eBay individually which is gonna go and help me when I split them into two bundles with these consoles. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna work out how much these games are individually and I'll let you know that in a sec. So I've just gone through the games, guys, and I've got 13 games here that I've pulled out of the 50, so about quarter of the games that are actually comping on eBay for over $20, which I was actually really surprised by. I thought I wouldn't have as many as 13, so I was really happy with that. I'll go through the games fairly quickly, and I'll try and put some comps up here for you to have a look at, but every game ranged between $20 to $40. So the first one that I've got is The Herbs, uh, Sims in the City. So that was a really popular game, probably the most at $45, I believe. Um, Need for Speed Underground 2. Uh, we've got Serious Sam, Next Encounter there as well. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, um, ripping game. A lot of these have got cases and manuals as well. So, I mean, all have cases, but manuals too, which is really good. Um, Ratchet and Clank number 3, Ratchet and Clank number 2, and Ratchet and Clank number 1. And I've actually got two copies of Ratchet and Clank number one. Um, I've also got Crash Bandicoot, so we've got Crash Tag Team Racing here. So that was an awesome grab there. Um, Jack and Daxter, I think he was worth about $20. Um, so I've got him. Uh, Sonic Mega Collection Plus as well. So the last two, Crash Mind Over Mutant, another Crash game which always goes on to sell well. And then this one was worth about 35 bucks. Um, Smackdown, Here Comes the Pain. Uh, a wrestling game on the PlayStation 2 as well. So there's my 13 games that are comping over $20 and I've decided that I'm gonna list individually the 13 games that do comp over that amount. These here are the games that were under $20. Some are 15 to 20, a few of them are obviously well below $10. Um, but that value there for those 37 games works out to $400. And then these, when you add all of this up, works out to $300. So I've actually got $700 worth of games out of this haul, and I'm yet to even look through the microphones, the connector cables, the controllers, the consoles. And I really wanna try and, like I said before, maximize the profit here. So I'm gonna now jump into all of this and work out the individual amounts for all of these and then start bundling together what could be the most profit possible. So I'm gonna dive into that. So far, we're sitting at $700 worth of resale value and I've only paid $120 for the lot. So we're not even halfway through this uh, allocation and we're absolutely flying so far. So let me count these up. I'll let you know what it comes to in a sec. All right, so these are the two bundles. They've both been split up. I've got the slim console just there. I've got the fat console there. I've decided to put the buzzer into this bundle and I've made sure that all the games, as you can see there, all the buzz games are relating to that piece of controller. Um, over here, I've split up the microphones to have just one a piece. Uh, I've given two controllers, two controllers. Um, I've split up the cabling with a camera and a camera there as well. So that's been split evenly. Uh, and then the games I've sort of just split out as well. One's a set of 17 and one's a set of 18. Now, you'll see all the different price points here over everything. If we start with this one, the games are gonna be working out to $200. Um, the HDMI connector cable was $15 for that one. So I put that into just this because I only had the one. Um, the controllers, 15 a piece. The consoles were working out to $60 individually on eBay. Um, and then obviously $45. I haven't put a price on the memory cards. Um, so that bundle, when you add everything up, it works out to $365. But obviously being a bundled purchase, I'm not gonna do the full amount of 365. I will put a bit of discount for buying bulk and I'm gonna list it up for $299 and we'll see how we go. The second one here, really nothing too much different. It's just these buzz games. So it's the buzz controller. The console worked out to 60, cable for it, the camera, the two controllers and the microphones again for 45 bucks. So for this one, it actually worked out to $380. When you add up all of this, it's just that this remote worked out to $30, a little bit more than that one. So again, I'm gonna be putting a discount on for $299 for that one there. 
Over here, we had a lot of sort of leftover pieces, I guess, where I didn't really want to bundle them up into the pack. I've just sort of got spares. Um, they worked out to small amounts. So a couple of um, fake controllers. This one's actually for a mobile phone. Um, the phone sort of sits in there. That was only 15. Uh, the cable itself for the SingStar is $10. Um, the adapter was 20 and then another set of the SingStar microphones, which you can sell for $45. So I'll do all of those as individual listings, um, obviously a bulk deal and a bulk deal. And then the last one was this one, the Guitar Hero 3 uh, game and the actual Guitar Hero itself as well. When you've got the game and you've got the guitar, it sells for a hundred bucks on eBay. So. Not too bad there, we've got a lot of listings to do. There's five listings there, six listings, seven and eight. Plus, don't forget, my games. They worked out to $300 for those 13 games. So, a lot of money to be made here. So, when you finally add it all up, guys, provided everything goes on to sell, you've got $300 worth of games, you got $300 worth of a bundle pack, another $300 bundle pack, all of the individual listings that I'm gonna do works out to $100, and then the Guitar Hero works out to $100. So that grand total cost works out to $1,100 worth of resale value, and remember, I've paid 120 bucks. So the profit, if it all sold for that price, would be $980. You can basically say there's $1,000 worth of profit on this Facebook Marketplace pickup. And strategically, I think it's been a really good way to go about it and to get two bundle packs, obviously having the two consoles, that sort of started the process from a splitting perspective. The games were split nice and evenly, 17 and 18. I picked out, I cherry picked the best games to get the most profit rather than hiding them in a bundled pack because you'll always lose when you do that. And then the Guitar Hero was sort of a third bundle. I could just keep him on his own because he just sells really fast by himself. Um, and still, I can get 100 bucks out of him alone. So I'm really stoked about this. I really just want to kind of put this video together to just kind of prove the point that Facebook Marketplace can be a great sourcing method. You would be searching far and wide out in the thrift store, thrift stores to try and collect all of these items. So if you know, Facebook Marketplace, bulk purchasing off Facebook Marketplace. It's a great way to go about it. And uh, I'm absolutely thrilled to have this little grab on a Sunday afternoon. So I'm pretty set for the week now. I can go ahead and list all of these up. Um, and hopefully over the next few weeks in a What Sold episode, I can show you the profit of $1,000 to come through at the end of the day. So I um, hope you've enjoyed this. I'm doing it just to hope that you go out and start sourcing for great items on Marketplace and, and make a few sales. Um, they would even be great items to sell on Facebook Marketplace as well. You could go down that path or obviously eBay is really good for these sort of games. So um, yeah, I'll end it there guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, heap of money made, hopefully, once it all goes on to sell on eBay. Thanks very much for tuning in. We'll see you in the next episode.